And welcome back. We have updates on two potential major redevelopments on the west side of downtown Milwaukee. One is facing delays because of the federal government shutdown. Sean Ryan here to help us figure it all out. And Sean, it is hard to keep on top of so many things that are happening downtown because so much is happening downtown. But let's start with what is known as the Journal Sentinel building. Some news there. What's happening? Uh, that's right. We've uh, found out that there are two local developers, uh, Tony Janowick, who is part of the ownership group of the Grand Avenue, and Josh Jeffers, who has done a lot of other things downtown too, have an option to buy the site. So they're looking at whether they want to go forward, buy this block from the Journal Sentinel for, I would guess, future redevelopment. I would imagine that is prime location. I mean, you just look access to a lot of different things. What's their vision? What would they want to do? Mm, we don't know what they want to do, but these developers can do a lot of things. They've done offices, they've done apartments, they can do hotels, restaurants. So really, they have a broad scope of what they're able to and know how to develop. So that opens a lot of potential for mixed use. Has there been others interested in that property? Others have looked at it. There was a different company from out of state that had taken a close look at it last year but backed off from the deal. All right, so the post office, another big location, another prime location as well, not a bad place to be. What's happening there and how's the federal government uh, shutdown impacting that? Yeah, a group out of Chicago owns it, a real estate group that has already come out with plans to redevelop it, but until they can get the post office to move out of the building, they can't do anything. So they've actually filed a lawsuit to try to evict the post office and the post office, they're represented by U.S. attorneys who just yesterday said, we can't move forward with this case because of the federal government shutdown. So everything's kind of frozen right now. Uh, and so are there big plans for that? I mean, do we get a sense of what they want to do? Yeah, they've said uh, upper levels would become new office space, the ground floor could become a new retail, maybe even a grocery store. And also it's right on the river, so you could have new entertainment venues on the river walk there. Two great locations. Thank you for giving us the update on that and keep us updated as well.